day. It's like 100 degrees today. Got my groceries. Going back. I think it's a bad part of town. I don't know. here and I know I didn't make a ton of Greece content but it was more of a crossover country oh that smells bad a lot of vinegar so I just gave Layla like a whole wardrobe full of clothes and I still won't have enough room in my luggage which is annoying because it's not annoying it keeps me minimalistic a lot of like everything like clothes that I've had for a very long time but I think it's good to release and let go of things. Let go of all my clothing, but not to my past relationships. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I can get rid of any material thing when it comes to people. It's a little bit harder. That has a scrunch butt, so it'll make your butt look nice. Oh, cute. Yeah. We've been through so much. We've been through a lot. I feel like we're married. Do you remember the Kylie days? No. Do you remember the Zahab days? <laughs> yeah, they were good. They were good. <laughs> Back in the day. We've been through a lot, a lot of countries, a lot of experiences in a short month. You know, things are getting a bit more tight and a bit more stressful now that I am you know, my own again. And, you know, there comes a time in your travels where you start running low on funds. And I hope that I can keep going on. Um, we'll see what happens. You know, you never know about these things. So I'm going to go to Germany now. Um, and I'm I'm a bit scared because it's a lot more expensive. Like I'm progressively getting to more and more expensive territory as they go along. And this is the adventure. Um, I guess I'll catch up to you whenever I leave for Germany. All right, time to go to the airport again. Again, I know I didn't stay long here, but it wasn't my intention to. So we're off to Germany. I'm in Germany now. Hello. That's all I know how to say. <laughs> I also have to say, nein and danke. But yes, I'm here. I'm here in Munich, Germany. Wonderful, wonderful. Look, I learned how to do the windows. I sight saw a little bit yesterday. The windows here are very cool. Don't go like this. Go like this. I really want to crawl. I did crawl out halfway here, but I want to crawl all the way. Here, watch me fall off. Oh. They're gonna ban me from this hotel. Other people's windows are open. They can see me. Halfway, halfway, girl. That's what. That's who I am now. I'm here, and I show up, and I'm. You come, present, and I didn't know. Well, I did know. That's why I came here. I have so many followers in Germany, not particularly Munich, but in Germany in general. So I'm like. I need to go to the land of my people, and I'm pretty sure I have a lot of German in me. I know this video isn't that exciting, but I'm going to get groceries. German grocery haul. I don't think other German cities are as expensive as Munich, but 
it's so expensive compared to being in Greece and being in, in Egypt. So I want to show you guys a time here that's not expensive and pretty much free. So I want to show you that to you because that's all I can do right now. Also, because the dollar is so low and the euro is so much worth so much more than the dollar, it makes it extremely expensive for me. So I'm going to try to navigate here um, on an extreme budget because like this hotel is the cheapest hotel that I could find, but it's still for me because I'm used to not paying too much in hotels is a lot. But I really, I don't want to be super anxious and stuff while I'm here. Um, I don't know what I'm doing next or what I can even do next. And that's just the reality. I planned Egypt, I planned Greece, but after that it was completely open-ended and I, I'm overwhelmed. You know, I'm overwhelmed. I, I don't know what's next. And this is just what you could expect. And I'm like, this hotel doesn't have, oh, let me give you a little hotel tour. This hotel doesn't have a fridge, but it does have a fridge. You look at me like, nope, no fridge there. But wait, this is a fridge. <laughs> so you walk into the hotel, nothing fancy. I didn't even clean it for you guys. So. You're just family to me now. This is the bathroom. Um, hi. And I got all my stuff over here. I have, I brought my whey protein from Greece and I'm glad that I did because I feel like it would be very expensive here. So what I do is I got a fork from a restaurant and they have cups here, so I'm assuming, do not take my word for this, I'm assuming you can drink the tap water because there's cups here. I didn't ask anybody, but hopefully I don't die. But, so I put my protein in here, I went It's really gross, but it, you know, you gotta just do what you gotta do sometimes. Um, toilets, <clears throat> this is a heater for towels. This thing is terrifying. I accidentally turned on this, the you know, the little, these things when I first got in the shower, and I'm like, whoa! This is pretty everywhere, I don't know this, TV, desk, lady, window, other mirror, bed. Before I go grocery shopping, I want to tell you guys about what my diet is like and why it's like it is. And a lot of people ask about what kind of diet and stuff. And I do like to work out and keep in shape while traveling as well. So I do intermittent fasting and that is fasting for periods of time and then eating during certain other times. And this has worked the best for me throughout my life. I've been doing this for a long time now. And it's more like inner, uh, it's more like intuitive eating as well. I found an app that actually helps you with uh, fasting. It's called Do Fasting and I'm partnership. They're sponsoring this video. And I'm gonna show you kind of how it works quickly. And you can get the coupon code, it's right here. But you can get it in the description, the links and stuff for, do, it's called Do Fasting. So with intermittent fasting, for me, I just do not eat during the morning and the whole day. So I don't eat until around like, usually around like 5 p.m. It kind of varies when I'm traveling and my time schedule is completely all off all the time. But with this app, you can actually, it helps you just track everything, especially if you're new to fasting. It also has meal plans and workouts. So I'm just putting the screenshots right here and it tells you exactly when you should eat. You can choose to log your calories and stuff. I don't do that and it's just not right for me, but you can, lo you can log everything, step tracker. If you don't know where to start, I do recommend getting this app because it will help you start. And even if you're advanced in it, you could start doing advanced um, types of intermittent fasting. And it sounds intimidating, it's very simple. Um, and this app makes it a lot simpler. So uh, go get the Do Fasting app let me know if it works out for you. It's just, it's my favorite type of eating because it's it's simple, it's very simple and I can do it like while I'm traveling and stuff. And I think it's most natural for our bodies as well. Now we're gonna go and get some groceries and I haven't eaten yet today. I'm not gonna eat until it's two o'clock right now so I probably won't eat until like four or five. And that means that if I stop eating at nighttime around like 10, you know, that'll calculate how many hours in between and you can start simple and then you can just keep extending it and usually I have one or two meals and that's fine for me I don't have to worry about you know like trying to eat all the time because I think that that's unnatural there's a flat peach hey look a German store what's the most German thing that I can get the most German thing as a vegetarian thing. Something German. That's the problem. Oh. <laughs> and it's called Obasta. Obasta? Oh. Oof. Oof. Aha. There we go. Oh. This, this with a pretzel.
Wow, they're like glazed. Gosh, always these professionals. <laughs> Wait, I put more lighting on the situation. Did I close this or did you? you did. I didn't. You didn't? I didn't. You Someone didn't. was inside. You didn't? No, I didn't. Did I close it? Well, yeah, I, there's no way I'd lock this. I don't lock anything. So I was informed by a reliable source that this is German. And it's pronounced Obatsta. I don't know what it is. I think it's cheese or something. Okay, so we're gonna try this for the first time. This is my, this is my first time trying German food in Germany. <laughs> First time eating also here. <laughs> <I'm> really hungry. <laughs> Smells like dairy. Tastes like um cream cheese. What's the thing you say in Germany to be like yummy? Lecker. Lecker. I'm gonna tell you about this mostly. Like. <laughs> I want you to try one. You want me to try one? You good? I thought I spilled all of myself just a little bit. The other ones. Shit. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, they are boiled. Oh. That's so strange. I never need to eat that like that. Okay, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you don't eat it with salt normally? No, usually I just, I don't eat for pleasure. Okay, so, just. So that's my welcome into Germany and that's my food haul. I know it's not that interesting, but it's what you get. I'm gonna end this video here. I'm gonna go on some more German adventures. So stay tuned, stay extraterrestrial, and I'll see you in the next one.